What up, guys? Welcome back to the Phase Cast. It's me, Joe. How you doing? Happy Hi, New it's year. me, Eric. And that's Eric. He's pretty cool. Uh, so, welcome back to the Phase Cast. It's 2022. I think we already did a 2022 release. We talked about Game of the Year. Uh, but I wanted to talk about, uh, you know, games of the future. Games of the future. And in anticipation. Yes, exactly. We're, uh, we, I want to talk about some games that are coming up, what we're excited about, all that other stuff. Eric, uh, I'm just going to throw some games at you, and I want to hear how excited you are about them. Okay? okay. <laughs> give me like a one through five, and we'll talk right. about why you're not. Sound right. good? Give me this the is like one. a pretty free flow format. I'm drinking vodka. Um, you, you, mm. know, you know what, you know what <clears throat> I am excited for is finding a, a current generation console at some point this year. <laughs> I have a PC. I'm going to stick to it. It's exhausting like to try to even... And I'm at an impasse because everything on the Series X is still available on the One. and the Who cares PS5, about the new Xbox? They're all going to the PC anyway. The PS5 That's their whole Xbox multi-pass like thing. This tall. The PS5, I would kill you for one. I, I want one, but I don't, I don't have any space to put one. So they need to come out with a smaller one. I don't... Okay, sure. All right. <laughs> Uh, the first game uh, that's coming up uh, shortly that I actually care about uh, is uh, Pokemon Legends of Arceus. That's coming out later this month on the 28th. Eric, 1 to 5, how excited are you? 3. I'm cautiously excited about that game. I always like Here Pokemon. We go. I always like a good Pokemon. Name me a Pokemon game you hated. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Everyone's like, oh, it's different! Oh, all the Pokemon, Pokemon games Dash. that have come out did, since Pokemon not... blah 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 aren't as good as the last Pokemon. You are all gripping to nostalgia. Pokemon hasn't changed. I it really has I did not care for Pokemon Dash. I don't know what Pokemon Dash is. What's Pokemon Dash? It was a DS game where you had to race Pokemon by tapping them. <laughs> okay. Well then... Alright, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna give Arceus a solid 5, I just, because I, excitement's one thing, actual things are great, but I always get excited for a new Pokemon game, uh, I've liked every single Pokemon that has come out, I guess I haven't played Dash, uh, fair, <laughs> I hadn't even heard of Dash, didn't know what that was, it's, but every mainline like Pokemon game, I've played every, like, you know, weird spin-off, I like, like, I liked Pokken, and that's just Tekken Pokken, and it's a weird fighter that's super fun because I like fighters. And I didn't it's play it much, Pokemon. but I liked what I played. It was yeah, exactly. It's it's all fun, and I count Smash Brothers because that's the best version of that game is to turn only Pokeball items on and go fucking nuts on each other. And only Pokemon. Yep. Um. Uh. It was interesting the way that they marketed that, and then everybody got kind of mad that it wasn't, like, fully open world. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, the, the format of it, because what is it? Like, you sort, of, you sort of have missions that you then go into this world to... It's, it's like a little Monster hunter -ish. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. fine. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I want to see new Pokemon variants, because some of the Pokemon variants we got are really cool. Like, have you seen Voltorb? No, no, wait. Dude, I mean, oh... <laughs> If you haven't seen any of the new Pokemon variants, they're super cool. Growlithe, Voltorb. I like Growlithe. Growlithe like looks Gr great. Uh, we get some uh, new evolutions for some Pokemon what the too. Hell? Yeah, he's isn't a, he cool? He's like a he's like a little wooden man. He'd have to be, wouldn't he? Because there's no electricity. Uh huh. Well, he's probably still he's still electric, but he's wood. Yeah, like he's, he's a little wood electric. variant. Oh, I like mm -hmm. this guy. Mm hmm. See, it's just fun things, man. Don't let don't let people hate. Don't let Whoa. people hate. Zora looks weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Super the Growlithe, upset. though. The, the Growlithe looks good. Uh, I encourage you all, if you haven't, to uh, take a look at the new uh, uh, variants of Pokemon. Uh, if Eric is kind, he will put all the new sprite images of the new Pokemon variants <sighs> up along here and down along there. <sighs> there they are, if they're there. If they're not, it's okay. <laughs> Just know that Eric didn't care enough about you to put it up there. <laughs> and we'll, uh, we'll do a dot dot dash description of each picture for everybody listening. I don't know if you need to. Um, uh, what's uh. next? What's next? Next up is Dying Light 2 Stay Human. 
I had never played Dying Light. Oh, it was it's like parkour uh, with zombies. I, that's, that's the game. Sounds, that sounds cool. Yeah, I, I have been meaning to play it, but but apparently they're 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 making choices matter in this, which is always a fun thing in any game. I love it when your choices matter. Uh, that's why I liked Mass Effect up until the end. Uh, but you know, what can you do? Uh, did you I play? Even, did you play Mass Effect uh, I- Infinite? The the into the into the mass hole. Andromeda. Yeah, that one. <laughs> that one, I did, and it felt they were really trying to force camaraderie with your team, like hardcore. Oh, you should never do that. Whereas, where in Mass Effect One, Two, and Three, it kind of builds gradually because yeah. in One, like you're not really friends. Like you're all working on a mission and you become friends later. Mass Effect 2, you know, spoiler alert for those who haven't played Mass Effect 2, uh, you die for two years and come back. And <gasps> you do? You do, yeah. You die for two years and come back. and then no, you spoiled it! I spoiled it! And then you slowly build your team for a new mission, meeting new characters and also some of your old characters. And meeting the old characters is just the best part of that game. Uh, every time I play through Mass Effect, I always say I'm going to romance somebody different. Until the beginning, like, missions of Mass Effect 2. Because that's when Tally shows up. Uh, Tally was the weird Quarian girl in Mass Effect 1 who you couldn't romance. And number 2, she shows up. You can romance her. And then the first lines that she says when she sees you is very, like, a, a, des- a very well-delivered line. Because the actress is just desperate and hopeful as she says, Shepard. And I'm like, well, I can't romance anybody else. Never mind. You're who the girl. Who did you date in Persona 5? Persona 5? Yeah. Makoto. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah, nice. Makoto is the best choice. <laughs> Everybody knows it. People who argue uh, are dumb. You can either choose the rich girl who you meet way too late to form a romantic companionship with. You can choose the girl who clearly just should be with Ryuji. And or a literal Ryuji child. Works. Or a literal child. <laughs> Futaba is not a good choice. She is a sheltered child. You should not be going after Futaba. Your, the, your surrogate dad trusts you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, it's it's either Makoto or any of the adults. Uh, but Makoto. Any of the adults. But Makoto. Yeah. But Makoto. Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, hype for Dying Light 2. Oh, you haven't played any of it. Zero. Zero, because, zero hype! Because I'm still hyped for Dying Light, the first one. I need All to right. know what it's like. I give it a three, because, you know, I, I'm not really invested in the series, but I like a good, like, weird parkour game. Okay. Uh, uh let's see. Um. What else counts as a parkour game? Uh, like Any Assassin's Creed. Okay, yeah. Because yeah. that's, fuck... Uh, and, ta- and like I would Uncharted I would give a little bit maybe Uncharted is more action adventure. Yeah, I that's would a feel. Bit of climbing, I, okay, to be fair, uh, my my experience with Uncharted is still the first game. That's right. That's which right. is very railroady, and they, I don't know do how the other climbing, games But it's change. not like what is it like Assassin's Creed Three, where you're like running along the trees the entire no. fucking game. No. Yeah, or <laughs> any of the other sad like yeah. where you're running along buildings, stuff like that. Uh, we have the sequel uh, to Horizon Forbidden West that's coming out. No, that is a. Uh, uh, it's cool. It's kind of like a weird, I like the world cause you've got like, you use a bow and arrow and you're like nature-y, but also there's just robots everywhere. Um, I'm going to give it a, you know, and all the robots are like dinosaurs. So that's kind of cool. I like dinosaur like robots cause I'm a Power Rangers nerd. Um, so <laughs> I'll give, give it another give solid it? three. Solid ah, three. I solid give it a three. zero because I, I'm ah. actually, I'm not. And I don't have much interest in the first one either in that case. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. All right. Elden Ring. You've heard of Elden Ring. Elden Ring, I think... Do you know enough about it? What do you know about Elden Ring? What I have heard recently is that the the world is, is pretty empty. We don't know anything about it because it's still being made. You can't just call it an empty game. Yeah, no, that's true. You know? Uh, here's uh, what we know for sure about Elden Ring, and this is why I'm, I'm going to try and build your hype for this, okay? Yeah, okay. It's a collaborative game uh, with Hidetaka Miyazaki, the dude who created Dark Souls, so it's a Dark Souls-esque game. Obviously, you can tell from the trailer and the way yeah. the game looks. Yeah. And also, uh, he teamed with George R.R. R. Martin. Yeah, okay. I, the dude... Yeah. I, no, do I you know... know jo- no, Game already, of Thrones. You, had, already, you, had, you, had, you gave no knew, reaction whatsoever. I already knew that okay. part. 
So this is going to be Dark Souls in like an open world medieval dragon like thing. Yeah. That'll be cool. Come on. I mean, I, I, it depends if you like the Souls games or not. And I really do. I They make me very angry. Yeah, but they're super fun. I, I love games with high skill sets that you can just, as soon as you learn it, you get better immediately. Yeah, they're good. Hmm. Um, they just make me very angry. Hype level? Games make me angry. I, I, I'd give that a three. I, a if three? It's, okay. If it turns out, I mean, I, I'm going to wait to see what like people's reactions are to it. I'm, it's not like a day one You don't, me. okay, you don't, don't, you don't base hype on people's reactions after they buy it. Well, no, I know, but I'm saying that I'm not that hyped for it on its okay. own. Okay, like, fair. Because you're going to probably fair. get to, like, Breath of the Wild 2. That's a five. Okay, buy that no that's matter fair. what anybody says. That's fair. <laughs> but I'm going to give I'm it like, a four. Yeah, that's, okay. You know. You know what I mean? Uh, it's like... This is more for me than you. Uh, Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. Don't know what it is. It's a Final Fantasy game made by Team Ninja, so it's going to be like, you know, a really hard action RPG where you level up Final Fantasy characters, and apparently it's supposed to stick to the story of the original Final Fantasy somehow. It's supposed to, like, be a adjacent to that. Okay. Um, I don't know. The only I'm excited. The only It's action RPG. It's Final Fantasy. The Go only on. Final Fantasy game I'm looking forward to is the second part of the Final Fantasy VII. Oh, remake? Yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good. Because the first one was actually amazing. I, I enjoyed it a lot. I appreciate it how much they stretched out Cloud and Address. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. That's uh, okay, how about this one? How about this one? What? Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Tiny Tina like, from like... Borderlands is getting her own spinoff game. Oh, I, I only played Borderlands. <laughs> I don't play games. You don't. Know, why did why why would you talk about games that you don't play games? <laughs> no, I only played Borderlands. Uh, I, drink. I mean, th I played Borderlands fucking when it came out. What was that like? Two thousand and ten. You didn't play any of the sequels. Mm, I started to. wasn't crazy about it. That's it. Okay. Well, this is it's a Borderlands game. And it's basically Tiny Tina is like running the game, so it's cr like the D and D bu bunkers and badasses thing that they did that DLC. Um, and basically, what it is, it's it's going to be Borderlands. It's a looter shooter, you know, co op action game. Except there's also going to be swords and magic, and Will Arnett's in it, and Sam Andy Samberg's in it, and Wanda Sykes are. So it's going to be a fucking weird. <laughs> Hilariously voiced game, and I'm looking forward to it. Sandy Amberg. Andy Samberg. Do you not like Will Arnett? Come on, everyone likes Will Arnett. I can't even remember who Will Arnett is. Uh, okay, we're gonna just move forward before people hate which one you. Is, which one is Will Arnett? Just He's from shut SNL. Up. I'm gonna. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm gonna look him up. Uh huh. I don't know who Will Arnett or Talking Tina is, so I'm going to uh, give that one a zero. <laughs> there is another... Fuck. Okay, well, I give it a five, because I'm oh, excited. Job. Job. <laughs> and Batman. Lego Batman. I know yep. Will Arnett. <laughs> the oh. fact that your hype level has nothing to do with cast or anything based on games, you're just like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Why do we do this? Why do we do this? You'll know when I get hyped about something. Mm -hmm. You just wait. Okay. What do you got next? Um, the day before, uh, it's another uh, zombie... Uh, well, I don't know if... It, it, there's zombies in it, but it's supposed to be like a post-pandemic America. Uh, you shoot zombies, shoot people, scavenge for food, medicine. That sounds it, neat. Yeah, yeah. You know... Hype level? <laughs> It's it's been a while since I've played a good zombie game. You should so, play The Last of Us. That, that's fucking really good. Oh, I played The Last of Us. I don't really oh, good. know if Who? I count that as a zombie game though. How do you not? That's because you call put mu mushrooms on them and call them corda whatever the <laughs> fuck. Doesn't mean they're not just zombies. I guess when I think zombie game, I think like Dead Rising, Left for Dead. Left for Dead Two was good. Oh, if you haven't played Dead Back Island. for Blood, Back for Blood was actually really good. Oh, really? Oh, yes. that's right. We talked about the, the, the yes. like Left for Dead spiritual successor. Yes, yes. With yeah, the card it. system, it's super cool. Uh, hype level for uh, day before? Three. Any? Three? Okay. Solid three, two. I like that. Thank you for just throwing me a bone. I'll check it out. Uh, I've been giving threes to everything. Uh, Bethesda's got a uh, new uh, IP coming. That's Starfield. Cool. 
That's Starfield. Cool. It's uh it's but it's being billed as Skyrim in space. So That's fine. Take that as you will. That's uh, fine. I mean, it's a new Bethesda title, it's a new IP. Um it's if it's just Skyrim in space, I'd be good for it. I I I'd, I'd give it a whirl. Uh I really love giant space like adventure games like that. Mass Effect, uh, Knights of the Old Republic, which Knights of the Old Republic remake. <sighs> Sorry, that's a different thing. That's a different thing. So, uh, Starfield, hype level. Oh, uh, five. Uh, five? Listen, listen, Bethesda could be like, we we just uh, did a game about cutting your toenails, and I'd be like, I'm fucking, I'm gonna check it okay. out at least. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I, so, and also, The Outer Worlds was fun, which was sort of like, mm. uh, if... Bethesda, it was the, the um, New Vegas team that did that, uh, and I basically l let that fill the void that infinite releases of Skyrim has, has left for me. Yeah, but have you tried Skyrim VR? <laughs> I haven't. Um, That's actually, it's actually fucking, it's, I mean, it's dope. I would, it's, yeah. It's dope. I like, I like VR games. Mm -hmm. Gives my, it makes my head hurt after, like, a couple hours, so I stop, but. Me too. Yeah. Dude, mm -hmm. I played, um. Uh, squadrons, Star Wars Squadrons. Oh, that's ship one in uh -huh. VR. I can't play that in VR. Fun. That seems <laughs> difficult as shit, dude. dude you're like no in a way. Tie Fighter, like spinning around. I was oh, like, I can't. 3D combat like that in space gives me such a headache. Now I understand, like my my old old dad when I was a kid, and I'd be playing like Super Smash Brothers, and he'd play for like ten minutes and be like, "Oh, this is making me dizzy." They'd be like, "Dad, come on." <laughs> Now I'm that guy, because I get in the little helmet, yep. and I'm like, I'm going to mm -hmm. fucking throw up. <laughs> Sorry. We don't have an exact date on the next one, Eric, but Bayonetta 3. Oh, Bayonetta 3? I'm pretty... Yeah. You know what, though? I never played Bayonetta 2. Oh, it was good. But I Very loved, good. I loved the first one. It's Devil May Cry meets uh, Sexy Poses. Dude, Bayonetta's awesome. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the, the gameplay is great. It is, yeah, it's sort of like hacky slashy. Mm hmm it's Combos so over for the days. Top. It's so yep. ridiculous. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Beta 3 is supposed to be this year. Still. Uh super excited about it. High yeah, level. Me too. Four. Four? Okay. Yeah. I'd give it a solid four. I'd give it a solid four. I couldn't tell you the story of Bayonetta. Honestly. Dude, I, <laughs> the, I couldn't. the story is that the more she fights, the I the couldn't. less clothes she has on. <laughs> That's the... I thought her clothes was her hair. Her, the entire her, time. Her weapons are her hair. So it's it's one or mm -hmm. the other. She's got to uh, the, Apparently, the the there is a horror game uh, coming out. Uh, this is that is I'm I'm only mentioning this because it's you. Uh, uh, based off of Evil like, Dead. Evil Dead. No, oh. based off of Thomas the Tank Engine. What? And their whole series. <laughs> what do you uh, mean? Please Google Choo Choo Charles and just look at one of the first images that shows up. Is it like Five Nights at Freddy's but Thomas the Tank Engine? Yeah, <laughs> that. Uh, it's like, oh, what yeah. The hell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you tell me that's not like a weird Thomas the Tank Engine motherfucker, and. Yeah. What the hell? Mm hmm. Oh, I'm excited mm -hmm. for that. Yeah. Five so, out of five. Five out of five? Because, like, I don't know, like, I really like the weird, almost indie horror games we have now. Yeah. Because uh, they just lean into it hardcore. Like, the new Five Nights at Freddy's, like I said, it was really fucking good. Security Breach was just a solid game with plenty of jump scares and that built on the prior games. Really good. Enjoyed it. Um, speak, but this is probably, I think, the game I'm most excited about coming out. Uh, God of War Ragnarok. Wait, wait. Let me just ask you something. Okay. Uh, are you always on the train? I don't know. There he is. I know. I've seen the face of the train. If it's, if it's a rail shooter, Have you seen him with his legs? Yeah. His fucking creepy ass spider legs? If Ugh. it's a rail shooter, I'm a little less excited. I mean, I don't know. Like he's stuck so... on the... Anyway. Uh, uh, God, of, God of War. Ragnarok. Five out yeah. of five. Five out of five. That last God of five War was incredible. Five. <laughs> that last God of War was So incredible. good. Boy. And he just fought. The, the axe throwing when you got the Blades of Chaos. Like, everything about that game and... Like, his story several years after mm -hmm. God of War 3 is so fucking good. And I want to fight. Like, I love the new combat system. Mm -hmm. 
I loved how the old weapons felt good in the new combat system. Yeah. That was crazy. Like, they did the same moves, and it felt good. It felt hard. It, it was just, uh I, I am excited to see where the story takes us and what happens. That's, I am, I, that's my big... Uh, my big thing with that God of War game is the, the combat system. I, like, the fact that they were able to update it and still somehow keep it feeling like God of War. Like, it feels like God of War, but it's completely different. Yeah. <laughs> it's so yep. fucking good. Yeah. It's so good. <laughs> it's such... It's, it's, a, it's like, it's literally taking an old IP and just bringing it to the new, and it feels so good. Like, they hit all the right beats... The characters were great. Seeing Kratos just change and grow. And like... Ugh. And just also like... I love the way the story was like him finding about about another god of war who wasn't a bloodthirsty monster. <laughs> it was crazy. It was crazy. It's accepting who you are and... Ah. Uh, sorry, I could go it's, on a whole range. It's, it's an excellent... War. Just on all fronts. And I'm very excited about that game. Sometimes... Um, when I'm like telling my son to do something, I I go I go do that thing, boy, <laughs> because of that game. <laughs> I'm sure he loves that. I'm sure. Completely has unrelated. He, what? Has yeah. He what? Has he played God of War, or does he just no. know that sometimes you just say, call him boy? He's, it's like he's what the nine, hell, dude. I'm not gonna let him play God of War. Dude, um, we played God of War when we were nine. What are you talking about? God of War came out in 2002. I was 11. How old? Oh, I'm sorry. We were 11. <laughs> the two-year difference really changes. Really makes it. <laughs> I played Grand Theft Auto when I was nine, bro. What the my fuck parents, are you on? I had to make a plea to my parents to get Grand Theft Auto 4 when I was, like, 16. They did, but... 16? Yeah, I was on lockdown, dude. My parents did not like violence. You are a sheltered little baby boy. I did play God of War, though, for some reason. I don't know. That's, I don't know. That had sex them. and violence, too. So Yeah, I feel like sex was less of an issue. But Sex should always be less of an issue than yeah, violence, but you yeah. tell that to the American Board of Seriously, uh, yeah, you tell so. that, yeah, you tell that to this puritanical <laughs> tell us, uh, Yeah, yeah. How dare you talk about <laughs> sex? Instead, watch this movie where we have a man crawl through vents and kill people for two hours. Yeah, that's better. When I was a child... My dad used to say, um, watch out, uh, watch out where the huskies go, and don't you eat that yellow snow. And he would say it to me at random, and then one time I was, like, in my 20s, which is something that I can reference now, which I fucking hate. Uh, ah, you're old. And, you're an old fuck. And, <laughs> you're, you're just as old, almost. I'm 29. <laughs> I'm in my 20s still, bitch. One time, uh, I was I was appreciating that I was partaking in the devil's lettuce, and I was listening to Frank Zappa, and a song came on where he said that. Yeah. And it blew my fucking mind, and I hope that someday <laughs> that happens to uh, my son. Your son's Maybe gonna not. play God of War yeah. one day. And he's gonna be like, "Oh, he's just been calling me boy. He's just been. He's what a weirdo." Maybe <laughs> maybe not that because he's gonna be like, "My dad can't do a Kratos at voice at all." Boy, <laughs> that was good. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what's the what's the next game? Uh, I'm more excited. Okay, uh, Gotham Knights comes out. Uh, Gotham Knights is a uh, Batman died. Batman is dead. Is that so, Arkham? Is that like Arkham? I, I don't know lineage. if it's... I don't think it's Arkham Lineage. I think it's a different, like, video game world. But the plot is Batman died, and we got uh, Robin, Nightwing, Batgirl, and Red Hood. And they have to work together to protect Gotham. And it's a co-op game. <gasps> and I want to be Red Hood so bad every day of my life. Sorry. That... <laughs> Now, I'm going to give this game a 5 out of 5 in my hype, personally. Unrelated to the game. Unrelated to the game. I like Jason Todd. He's great. Uh, but no, you get to, it's a co-op game where you play as the Bat family. And I've talked to you before on this podcast uh, how my favorite very, my favorite like aspects of Batman are the Bat family. <laughs> Not so much Batman, but the Bat family. And boy howdy, a game where it's just them trying to live up to his shoes. Oh yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah, dog. I know exactly. I, I've seen this game. I'm excited yeah. about that game. Uh, On a it, scale of one to five, how excited are you about this game? Four. Okay. Okay. 
Four. Yeah. What about is the Evil Dead game on your list? I I'm I'm going down it. I'm right. going down it. All right. <laughs> um, Hogwarts Legacy. Oh, so okay. I'm a little bit intrigued by that. Yeah. So it's got a lot of shit going on, right? Uh, lead developers is apparently one of the lead developers is apparently defending against uh, some GamerGate shit, and you know. Oh, that sucks. Rowling's herself is still yeah, kind that, of a, Yeah, that's kind of my... Like, we don't like J.K. Shit. Rowling, we like the, the world. And it's it's one of those hard things, right? Um, the guy who was the lead developer who had that shit, he, he's no longer part of the game, okay, right? Okay, cool. Uh, that was and, the right choice. Uh, yeah, and now, like, what? We have, like, a... Apparently the game's gonna have, like, a transgender character option. Like, we're just... Okay. They're doing, like, a hard correction. It might be good. Uh, the only other game I know that had a transgender option is South Park The Fractured Butt Hole. And <laughs> <laughs> that was hilariously done and respectful at the same time. It was just weird. Uh, but it's supposed to be an open world adventure game set in the 1800s. So, and you play as a Hogwarts kid. Yeah, that sounds cool. So open it's before world, Harry, Potter, Harry Potter, open world Harry Potter in the world. Um, 1800s, I don't know if Dumbledore's alive. He's probably alive because wizards... <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, he's like a hundred and something. He wouldn't yeah, be alive. Dumbledore, he wouldn't. Would, There's uh, not even a Dumbledore, maybe. I don't know, but he's not headmaster. And you're just going to be, you know, going to classes and, you know, being a wizard. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Apparently you can, uh, choose to either save Hogwarts or join up with the evil side of that time too. That sounds awesome. Yeah. You could be, you know, I don't know. So for real though, why would you join the evil side? they got snakes yeah but they're just racist that's true that's true <laughs> like 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 that's there's a difference between like oh i want to play as a marvel villain or a dc villain <laughs> as opposed to i'm gonna play a racist <laughs> yeah it's like, and it's like uh, uh, uh. it's like if dr doom was also a white supremacist basically <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> I, I, would, Fuck. I would give that a four because there is, yeah. I think, strong potential for that game to end up something. Yes, yes, strong potential to end up something. I'm going to give it a three because I'm hopeful, but I don't want to get my hopes too high. Also, um, let me just say, unrelated, all that J.K. Rowling has to do at this point is just shut the hell up. Why would, Why is she no. talking about shit that, I like, don't know. What's her deal, man? I mean, I mean, to be fair, there's a lot of stuff that we didn't notice that is just fucked in that whole thing oh well yeah uh but still like it doesn't make sense to me because like hey it's like hey don't be racist is like one of the major things in that whole thing right yeah well like yeah. not a major thing but it's definitely there and there's even the character who fights for elf rights whatever no, the that's fuck. just so bizarre about like her, her it just is <laughs> the strangest one of the only black characters we're introduced to in the entire series his name is kingsley shacklebolt um Oh, shit. Just, just let that like <laughs> sink into your brain for five seconds. <laughs> that man who we all like, his name is Kingsley Shacklebolt. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I just feel like J.K. Rowling's kind of out of touch. Has uh, always, yeah. has always been. And sort listen, of shows listen. Up in her writing. Separate the artist from the art is what I I've always preached. Because if you like a thing, and it does have good stories, and it is okay. That's good. Some people, people may interpret it wrong, and some of the artists could be just fucks. But as long as the story is good, and you get something out of it, and that you like, you know, you feel a positive thing that doesn't hurt other people in that way. That is why I believe that firmly. People suck too much to not have to do that at least sometimes. Oh, that's so fucking true. You know how many songs I would stop listening yeah, to? I, Fuck. Yeah, exactly. I'd have to stop <laughs> eating Cheerios. Man, I don't want to stop eating Cheerios. Are they Kellogg's? They're Nestle. Oh, fuck, dude. I forgot that Nestle's also evil. Come yeah, on. Yeah, it's hard. Nesquik is so good, though. Who likes a little chalky milk? <sighs> a little chalky milk You can powder. get chocolate others. I do it that sometimes. I go to the store and go like... I can't buy that because it's Nestle, and then I fucking probably have, but because they don't even, they're, they you don't even know, like their brands are way do. bigger than just saying Nestle on the product oh, too. That's the thing. Like, just tell me what the next game is, Joe. Uh, Hollow Knight Silk Song should I, come out this year. Um, did you ever play Hollow Knight? Yeah. Fucking love that game. It's good. 
I, I, I give this a 5 out of 5 because I really, really enjoyed Hollow Knight. Um, the world, the aesthetics, the fucking... It's a Metroidvania-ass game with yeah. weird bug people. It's so cool. And it's also one of those games that's, like, really hard for no reason, but you can get good by practicing mechanics and just building your own kit. So, I'm down. I'm yeah. down. What Score? about you? Score? I gave it a four. I gave it a oh, five, okay. five, 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 five. Uh, I'm excited. I would give it I would give it a two. I, I'm... I, I'm gonna check it out. I, I like checking out some some decent Metroidvania things. I'm more of an Ori in the Blind Forest guy when it comes to indie Metroidvanias. Um, but Hollow Knight was Hollow, Hollow Knight was solid from what I recall, uh, and you know, uh, two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, hopefully this year. Uh, it hasn't been determined yet, but they've said it was this year. Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Open world uh, Kirby. <laughs> Are you oh, kidding? Oh, open open world Pokemon game. I say three. Well, open world Kirby. Five. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Fucking rolls away. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. <sighs> Sorry. Um, go. I'll let you. I'll let you take lead on Kirby. Go for it. I like Kirby, man. <laughs> <laughs> Kirby's Kirby's cool. Okay. Kirby's the yeah. Shit. Yeah, and, and and expanding on the, I mean, I feel like every every format that they've introduced Kirby in has been solid. Kirby sixty four, the side scrolling three D was cool. Um, yeah, yeah. Kirby Canvas Curse is one of my favorite games of all time. Mm-hmm. They did the yarn Kirby's were actually really good yarn too. Yarn Kirby's were cool. Mm-hmm. Epic. Not yarn. traditional, but very fun. That's a good. That's a good game to to just kind of pick up. You know. Yeah. Yeah, and, and 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 this one seems a little more involved, which I'm it down does. for. Yeah, Kirby. Yep. I liked. <laughs> yes, it <laughs> jumped when you got up. Everything happened. A lot of things. Um, uh, five, five for Kirby. Okay. What, what say you? I'm gonna <laughs> give it a four, because it would only be a five if my favorite Kirby was when, and it's not even a good Kirby, but my favorite Kirby was Kirby sixty four. Right? Yeah. The crystal whatever the fuck. Crystal shards. Crystal shards because you could combine powers. Do you remember that? Where you could absorb like spike and absorb fire and it would do uh, a weird yeah. combination. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Give me fusion powers. Uh, if, it, if they brought fusion powers back, it'd be a 5 out of 5 immediately. But I don't know if that's a thing we can do. <laughs> that they're that's, gonna do. That's what it hinges on? Yeah. Otherwise it's a 4. But still, I'm excited. Open World Kirby is going to be a fun game. Yeah. I don't know how his movement would work. He'd fly around like, you know, but it's it'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, because it's it's like you. It's like, I would I would try to find the wheel Kirby power up immediately just so I could. I don't know if that's how that would work. Do you store power ups? Who knows? It's it's weird. A new take on Kirby. I am excited for a new take on Kirby. Kirby Air uh, Ride, Battle Racing. Kirby Air Ride Charging. and Battle Racing was good. Yes, yes, yes. The food one, where he was just racing DDD for food. What the fuck remember? Is that one? <laughs> no, that I don't a... remember. Okay. Uh, oh, you let... mean wait the mini games and Kirby's the mini games and Kirby's Crystal Shards? <laughs> no, the mini games in the Super Nintendo. Remember? Oh, in the uh, in Kirby. It was All-Stars. a collection of yeah, games yeah, yeah, in Kirby, Kirby All Stars. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, uh, superstar. Okay. What the fuck ever? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. All right, this is what we. This one's gonna get a five from both of us. Is it Evil it's, Dead? It's Zelda Breath of the Wild oh. too. Yeah, that's a five. Fucking five. Fucking five. Short hair Zelda. I'm in. Done. Let's fucking go, boys. That's all I care about. Uh, we don't need Zelda to talk got, about it. Zelda got a haircut. Zelda got a haircut, dude. This is probably like my, one of my favorite versions of Zelda. She's not aloof. She's, you like relive memories of her in Breath of Wild One. She's excitable. She's, you know, it's it's nice to see her as a character. Yeah, she's on as a you know. Breath of, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Breath of the Wild. Uh, what was the one where it's? I didn't really like it because of the stamina system, but the characters were good. Uh, it was in clouds and you flow around in a boat. Oh, 
Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword. I did like Skyward Sword a lot, uh, but the the Zelda character was good, and Tetra, who is a completely different type of Zelda. Compl- that's, Tetra isn't where's, even Zelda in my Tetra eyes. Where's Tetra been, man? Tetra's been in uh, a Wind Waker, and no, we but like no, but like where's she been lately? Not, not, she nowhere. Been for the last two decades. Nowhere. We don't get another. We got a remake. We got a remake of uh, Wind Waker. We got Wind Waker HD. That was yeah. good. That was good. Yeah, 1080p, uh, like cave people. Uh, um, uh, sorry. Uh, Breath of the Wild. The one thing that mm-hmm. I will say about Breath of the Wild, what I mm-hmm. missed a lot in the original Breath of the Wild were actual Legend of Zelda dungeons. They mm-hmm. had those little puzzle rooms where you could yeah. go and do that. But there was never a moment, and this is something, I've been playing Halo Infinite, right? Something that they've done pretty well is that you're out in the open world of the Halo but then they have missions like where you have a set objective and you have to go through like a classic right. Halo looking level. I thought that was done really well and sort of what Breath of the Wild was missing. Mm-hmm. Um, you just you didn't get that feeling from the beasts. I mean, a little bit, yeah. But that sort of felt um, uh, like the end of like the end of the dungeon. Right. Right. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It's still like one May- room where you're. Maybe going. they'll return back to format with this a little bit. Uh, I know that's a lot of people's gripes because it's definitely like Breath of the Wild didn't feel like a Zelda game. I mean, in a I lot can, of ways, I, I think know? it. I think it did, but that was yeah. I think that was an open world action adventure game. Yeah. Which a lot of Zelda games are, but a lot of Zelda games have like. Okay, you know what? Actually, I, I hope they don't go back to the puzzle format. And here's why. The puzzles in the dungeons in all the Legend of Zeldas weren't puzzles. They were hit the thing with a bow. Or use the item you just got to turn on a thing. They weren't really... Yeah, that's that's why I love them, Joe. If, if they really were puzzles, I'd never be able to figure them out. I'm just saying they weren't <laughs> I mean, like stuck in the first dungeon. It, it like it wasn't intuitive. Oh well, yeah. I mean, like in in what in Ocarina of Time, every time you got a new item, you had to use it for the boss fight usually, and that mechanic was important for that. Um, like bombs for the Dodonga rolling guy, or fucking. Uh, light arrows, or any of the arrows you got were used in the dungeon you were heavily featured in, essentially. Uh, and then they kind of kept doing that moving forward, but it became like harder to do, or just less impressive to do. Because, like, oh, this is the hookshot dungeon. Cool. Yeah, cool. yeah I see what you mean. It's not... I, I liked the open world adventure style, and just, like... The different ways you could go at a puzzle. Because, you know, I I just... I remember a specific moment in Breath of the Wild that made me just happy. Was when, like, okay, the ball's gonna drop and you have the, your, your switch. You gotta move it over and do all this other stuff and you get it through the maze. Huh. Throw a ball away. Flip thing over. Flat surface. Ball end on flat surface. Roll to the win. Fuck you. Fuck your puzzle. Oh, I just you broke you like, your fly. puzzle. You had to I, flip the switch. You don't. You didn't have to do it, but no, you but could do it, and you're like, "Oh, fuck you, fuck your puzzle, ha <laughs> ha piece and of that's, shit." And that's, that's when, great. When I'm presented with an actual puzzle, I just spent that entire game trying to launch the ball where it shouldn't go because that fucking bad. I puzzle. like <laughs> choosing my own answer if I can. Yeah. I don't true. like having to be forced a pigeonhole to do a game a certain way. Yeah. And Breath of the Wild is like, hey, here's that. The the first time I went into a beast. Like, like into one of the big mythical beast things was an accident. I just saw a giant ravine and thought that was really cool. And the next thing I know, I'm in an elephant and I'm like, oh shit, what's happening? Oh fuck. Oh no. I need, I need all this other stuff. I'm doing main story stuff now. That's what's cool about Breath of the Wild is that the experience that people have with it is, is really, really genuinely like varied and based on what you, what you decide to do. Yep. And yep, yep, very yep. few games are actually like that. So yeah, Breath of the Wild 2, 5. Is it going to actually come out this year? Fuck no. Dude, Who knows? Play it like eight times. I don't know, but they, hey, it's slated. Man, yeah. it's slated. Yeah, it's slated. Uh, are you ready for a new Lord of the Rings game? Yeah, sure, why not? Fuck it. Let's Here it wild. is, Lord of the Rings Gollum. What does that mean? 
You play as Gollum. What do you mean he plays Gollum? He, what do you mean? He plays Gollum. At which point in his life? There he is. There's Gollum. It's the kind of a bad image. What the fuck? But it looks, it's like, you know, you have to choose options. You live you by a act. river and fucking catch fish? I don't understand. I don't know. Uh, you play, you, you play certain events of Lord of the Rings from Gollum's perspective, I think. Uh, uh during, during And it's Lord like a, it's, and it's like a stealth game. So, cause that's Gollum! He's, he's hiding and he's crawling. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking I don't want to play that. No. No. All right. I'll give it. A, I'll give it a one. <laughs> give it a one. Okay. Fair. I just heard about it, so I'm gonna give it a two. <laughs> I'll give it a two. Um, Splatoon three. <laughs> yeah, we don't care, right? We're not no. kids. And they're they're not bad games. I want to say right now they're actually not bad games. I, whenever I did play Splatoon, I was actually very pleasantly surprised how much fun I had. Yeah, it's cute. But I wouldn't buy it. And I wouldn't like play it more than an afternoon with friends. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. So give it a one. Z zero. Ooh. Uh, Suicide Squad kill the Justice League. Um, I don't know much about it. You play as the Suicide Squad, and apparently the Justice League has turned evil. The trailers for it showed a bunch of cool like four-player action. It looked like because you just chose four of the members of the Suicide Squad. You got Harley, you got Deadshot, you got uh, Captain Boomerang, and you got King Shark. And you guys are doing a mission, and then uh, it turns out the, the villain is Superman. So, obviously, you four fucking mooks can't kill Superman. But it's, it's a Rocksteady game, so I am pleasantly hopeful for it. Rocksteady did the Arkham series. I'll give it a three. <clears throat> Give it a three? Okay. Yeah, the fact uh, I'll that give it's it a... Arkham related gives me a little bit of hope, and I liked the Suicide Squad. All right, I'll give it a uh, I'll give it a a four because apparently it is set in the Arkham universe. Oh. So I want to see how that looks. I want to see. I want to see. It could be cool. Uh, I don't know. I don't have any other games Evil coming Dead. out. There's an Evil well, Dead game, and it's, it's supposed to come out like next so. month. People care about. I don't think people care about that. Uh, it's a five for me. Uh, Evil Dead, the game. Yeah. Evil Dead. I was Dead. playing. Uh, I was. Which one was it? I, was, I think it was Regeneration. Recently for the Xbox. That game's fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think the Saints Row uh, remake is coming out this year, which the I would be one? all for. No, it's a, like it's a, it's remake, a brand a new of like. The first one. No, it's like, here's a new Saints Row series. Oh, I see. They're, like, sort of rebooting it. I think so. Well, I mean, I don't. I think we've talked about it briefly on the show before, but Saints Row kind of went off the rails yeah. near the end there. Uh, so they're, they're trying to, like, reset the rails? I mean, I don't care if they do or not. I don't care what they do. I hope it's actually kind of a sequel where they find a new planet to live on and start again. Because... <laughs> <laughs> what? No, you can't tell me. Everyone knows the story of Saints Row. I know. You right? explained the story you start of Saints off, Row to me already. You start off as just a player in the game, joining a gang. <laughs> you get betrayed. Keith Richards is like, I'm sorry, player. No one was going to trust us. Keith Richards? From David? the Rolling Stones? Oh, Keith, Keith David. David. Sorry. Keith David. Sorry, player. You weren't going to stop. Had to kill you. And uh, you come back in Saints Row 2. With a new look, and you can talk now. And uh, you kill three more gangs. And bonus secret mission, you can kill Keith David. Uh, because, you know, he betrayed you. Saints Row 3, y'all are rich and already own everything. But get kidnapped, and Gat dies, and it's sad. And you have to, like, you know, fight three more gangs. Uh, what are you doing? What? Why are you doing this? Saints Row 4, uh, you become the president of the United States of America, and then it gets destroyed by aliens. What? And by, yeah, the whole world gets destroyed by yeah, aliens. Yeah, I recall the alien part. Yeah, uh-huh. And then there was Saints Row 4, Gat Out of Hell, where you played specifically as Gat in Hell, and the main character you've been playing as the entire time is kidnapped by Satan. So, because he wants you to marry his daughter and form the most evil union of all time. So you play as Gat trying to save the boss. Uh, from Satan. 
And at the end, you have multiple choices because you beat Satan up and God's like, all right, I'm God. Here are your options for what you want to do. And one of the options is probably canon was like, find a new world that humankind can live off of. Because there isn't one. Because the world got blown up by aliens. Well, in Grand Theft Auto Five, you play as Franklin and can get a really nice house. You play as Franklin, uh, Trevor, and uh, Dad. I forget his name. Yeah, what was his name? Uh, I, don't I remember know. Franklin and Trevor very clearly, and I remember the other guy because he, the like, dad had a very wife. good storyline, but I just yeah. don't remember like his name right now. What the fuck is his name? I don't know. That game is good. Do you know that game is so old now that the multiplayer has brought Franklin back as a as a as a full on adult with a family? Oh, that's nice. Like you you end up working for him in the multiplayer campaign thing, and it's weird because I mean yeah it's been a few years since the story, so I guess is it Franklin Trevor? I don't want to say Leo. Edie. Is it Edie. Leo? Are you looking it up right now? Or are you just no? Oh, why, why, why do I bother with you? It's Petey. It's His not. Petey. Oh, Joe, we gotta redo the whole podcast because my mug is in the shot. And my cup. I have a mug and a cup. His name was Michael, and there's absolutely no way we're redoing everything. No, the mug was in the shot, so. No, Michael. No wonder I don't yeah, remember his Michael. name. That's like the most generic name on the mm-hmm. planet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, uh, okay, so let's. To end it, let's let's say the thing. Uh, Eric, an Evil Dead game is coming out. How hyped sure, are you? I'm not sure where they're at with it. I know for a while they were like going to remove the campaign and then they put it back or something like that. But you put Evil Dead on it, much like Bethesda. If they were like, Bruce Campbell is going to just, uh, just be standing there and then you can make him wave. I'd be like, all right, I'll check it out. So, five. <laughs> What? How did you give me that explanation and then say five? Five. Because it could be anything. They could do anything. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna give it a solid zero. What? Yeah, I have a zero interest. I haven't heard about it till today. So nah. It looks it can... neat from the footage that I saw. Fuck. I'm not sure exactly development wise where they're at. Right off. All right, I'm going to go down this list I of games and see dead, if dude. anything... Yeah, but that doesn't mean the game will be good. That's stupid. The other stupid. games were good. The other Evil Dead games? Yeah. What other Evil Dead games? Uh, Fistful of Boomstick and Regeneration. Both good. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, I, I'm going to look down a list of games coming out real quick. See if anything uh, pops up. Uh, we're, we're, we're running over anyway, Joe. Yeah, Give I know. Good, give me one more good game. One more good game. I'll tell you what, it's been so nice to edit these fucking things, keeping the time a little lower. (laughs) Okay, well, thanks for just saying it out loud to everybody. Hey, everybody. (laughs) This is, uh... Ooh. Uh, there's a Starship Troopers game coming out. What? Starship Troopers on March 31st. I I don't know what... Let me see. It sounds like it's gonna be a... Strategy game it is. It looks like an RTS. It definitely feels oh, like an RTS. Yeah, that makes sense because you just fight a bunch of buggies with a bunch of soldiers. That that makes sense to me. You I haven't know? played a good RTS in a hot minute. I'd be down to try it if it's Starship Troopers themed. I mean, it's hard because the only like RTS that was like really good is like StarCraft, you know, and everything else after seems kind of meh. Uh, a new Vampire the Masquerade game is coming out. That's what more about for Warcraft me. Warcraft Three. Uh, Warcraft 3 is super old. StarCraft 2, Age of Empires is super old and dated and hasn't changed even with the new game that came out recently. Yeah, I'll shit. say it. I'll say it. Fucking come at me. Come at Avatar Frontiers no, of Pandora. I saw that on a list before we did this episode and I was like, no. I have no idea why we're getting it. Dude, I mean, I'll tell you uh, what. I never liked Avatar. I got out don't of Don't lie. I got out of the theater, and everybody that I saw it with was like, wow, that was incredible. And I was like, I don't know. It was fine. It was a good movie. It was. It was good, and it was fun. I don't know why. It it was very pretty. And the 3D experience of the movie was definitely worth it. Here's one last game I'm going to talk about. Just one. 
Okay? Okay, it? two. Two. There's two because what if I don't they? mention this one, this is Dragon Ball The Breakers. And in it, it is an asymptomatic oh, oh, game. No, no, no. So you know games like Dead by Daylight and Friday the 13th yeah. where there's a big villain and yeah. the little guys have to collect? That's what Dragon Ball The Breakers is. Well, but it's like Frieza and he's... <laughs> No, it's like, oh god, there's Cell. He's gonna go, he's gonna consume people and become perfect Cell. Who do we play as to defeat Cell? Well, you get to be Bulma, and, and the pig, and Chao Tzu. Like, you get to be the shitters, and your job is to hide and run and get out. Oh, that's cool. And that's that the game. That awesome. That, that'll, that, that gets a three for me, because that's, I'm gonna play it like once or twice. And then that'll be the end of that game. I, I just now heard of it, but I'm going to give it a four for Dragon Ball Breakers. Dragon Ball Breakers. Uh, and then uh, the last game I want to talk about is hopefully it comes out. I really want it to come out this year. It it's been kind of delayed. Oh. It's been delayed because of the pandemic. Uh, Digimon Survive, bitches! Survive! Digimon. Survive! Digimon. Survive! Yeah. Digimon, baby! It's a five! Five time! Five time! Five time! That was seven. Five out of five. What? Five? Oh, you had you put a five. Right. Five, yeah. Digimon Survive! It is a uh, RPG game where you, where you're, like, Digimon are showing up in the real world and, and like, a summer camp kind of deal. And it's, and it's like, uh, it's like Final Fantasy Tactics and, uh, fucking, uh, What's that whole game series? Fire Emblem meets Digimon. And that to me is exciting. Because you can romance and do all the stupid things that all those games entail. But it's Digimon. And I love Digimon. And you should love Digimon. You know, we, love should, the things. we should do an episode sometime where it's just you explaining to me all the weird humanoid Digimon. Want to do that next week? I'm uh, down. Yeah, maybe. I'm down. I'll get a whole thing and then, set up. And then, and then I'll rate them um, mm -hmm. based on how hot I think they are. Mm -hmm. We oh, I had some. If, if, if only I could pull up pictures. If only I could be like, here's a picture. Uh, Listen, hold if on. you want to, if you want to do that episode, I'll take the time to edit the the Digimon in. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, how about I have. This is my Yoshino Fuchida card. She is a Digimon tamer. She's a she's Digimon? A oh, okay. No, I she's a person. She was, no, we're only doing she's the monsters. Oh, we're only monsters doing the hot only. monsters? I, okay. Okay. Sexy okay. monsters. Okay. Sexy monsters. All right. Um, Next week, we'll talk about the sexy monsters well, of Digimon. Do movie, movies, too, though. Movies, too. We can do movies, but we didn't watch movies Best this year. Best movies of 2021. Spider-Man No Way Home. Okay, oh, goodbye, oh, everybody. Not, not Spider-Man. Goodbye. goodbye. See, See you next week. See you next week. Spider-Man.